You can take this physics practical notebook either from the publisher or Ilmi Book Depot, Urdu Bazaar, Lahore, or free downloading from my website. Experiment 18 in the practical notebook. Left side page of same experiment. Hello, students. We are going to perform our experiment to verify the fundamental logic gates. What are logic gates? These are the decision making circles and there are three number of fundamental logic gates. That is OR gate, AND gate and NOT gate. So dear students, the name of these gates is on the function performed by each of these gates. The gates use algebra which is called as Boolean algebra and here R gate, the function of this R gate is equivalent to the sum of the algebra and function of N gate is to multiply and the function of NOT gate is to invert the given input that is if the input is low, it will make it high and if the input is high, it will make it low. Now we start with NOT gate. As you know, NOT gate is just an inverter. It will invert the given input. Symbol of this gate is this one. This is input and this is output. This bubble shows the NOT gate. To verify the fundamental logic gates, we have to draw the truth table. Truth table is actually the tabulation of different combination of inputs which results the output. Now here, since this fundamental gate has only one input and one output. So we have one input and there will be two combinations, two possible combinations of this input. Either the input is low or the input is high. So if the input is low, then output will become high. And if the input is high, the output, output will become low. Now we will verify the NOT gate here. Here we have power supply. This is the DC power supply. We will select its value from 5 volt to 6, 7 volts. This is a lamp unit, LED. And this is a NOT gate. This is the input of NOT gate. Here, the output of this NOT gate is fed to the input of lamp unit. From this power supply, we have actually given the voltage to this lamp unit and to the NOT gate. This is high voltage which is coming here and this line is of high voltage. So this input is high and from here this is low voltage ground terminal. So this is connected here and this is in turn connected here and this is low input voltage. Now for verification purpose you can see here when this input is connected with the low voltage, we are providing low voltage here, the lamp unit is on. That means the output of NOT gate is high. Now when we will connect it with the high voltage, mean high, we will give high input to the NOT gate. You can see here the lamp unit has switched off. The LED is switched off. Why? Because we are giving the high voltage from here 
and this not gate is an inverter this will invert the high voltage to low voltage so here we are getting low voltage means zero voltage and when this zero voltage is fed to the lamp unit as its input it switched off uh, students this is a power supply it's this red terminal is high voltage and here the black is zero voltage or it is a ground terminal the value of this power supply here is set 5 volt to 7 volt this is a dc power supply used for verification of the logic gates now this high voltage from the power supply that is going to this right terminal this is high voltage terminal and this is a ground terminal so the two terminals of the power supply they are one is connected at here and one is connected at here this is a lamp unit this is output device and this will show you whether the voltage is coming or the voltage is zero this is the input this lamp unit these two terminals of the lamp unit they are connected with the not gate this is high voltage terminal and this is ground terminal and this is the output of the not gate which is going to the input of the lamp unit and this is the input of the not gate if we connect this input with the ground terminal the input will be zero and if we connect it with this high voltage terminal then the input will become high now students we will see the second gate which is R gate the symbol of the R gate is this one except not gate all other gates they have two inputs or more than two inputs but all the gates they have single output so here we have two input R gate this is input A and this is input B and this is output of this R gate the formula for the output is x is equal to A or B this is the truth table of the R gate it has two inputs and it has one output so the different combinations of the input now written here since we have two inputs of this gate we will have four different combinations of the inputs the first combination is 0 0 mean a input is 0 and b input is also 0 so 0 or 0 means 0 plus 0 that will result 0 this AND gate has two inputs A and B and it has four different combinations first is 0 0 mean A is 0 B is 0 and when we will or these two inputs then we will get 0 0 plus 0 that will be 0 the second combination is A input is 0 and B input is 1 so 0 plus 1 that will result 1 third combination is A is 1 B is 0 so 1 plus 0 that will result 1 and fourth and last combination is 1 1 mean A is 1 and B is 1 so 1 plus 1 that will result 2 but 2 does not keep, come in the boolean algebra because these are the binary numbers and binary number consists of only 
0, combination of 0 and 1. So here 1 plus 1 that will result 1. So students you can see here that R gate will give output in three combinations of inputs. It will not give the value only when both of its input are zero, mean both the inputs are connected with the ground terminal. Then its output will be zero. Otherwise, even if one input is high, the output will be high. Now, in order to verify the OR gate, first of all, we will turn on this power supply here. So now, this power supply is giving the voltage to this lamp unit. These are the two inputs of the R gate. This is A input and this is B input. When you will connect these input, any of these input terminal with the low voltage, the input will become low, means zero. And if we connect it with high voltage, then the input will become high. Remember here, this is high voltage terminal and this is low voltage terminal. So first of all, we will connect both these input terminal with the ground terminal, mean this is 0, 0 combination. Look here the LED of the lamp unit is off. That means when both the inputs of the R gate, they are zero, its output will be zero and the lamp unit will remain off. So this is the first combination. Now for second combination, the A input terminal will be connected to the ground mean it is 0 and B is 1. So this would be the combination. So in second combination which is 0, 1 combination, the output of the R gate will be high and you can see here the lamp unit has turned on. This is second combination in which R gate is given the output or the output of R gate is high. For third combination, which is one zero combination, mean A terminal, A input will be connected with high voltage and B will be connected with the low voltage mean zero. And in this combination, one zero combination, Again, the output of the R gate is high and this is verified from this lamp unit because the lamp unit is turned on. So last combination which is 1-1 one, one combination mean both A and B input will be connected with the high voltage terminal. This is 1-1 one, one combination and again OR gate is giving high output. This high output is going to the input of lamp unit and lamp unit has turned on. So this is the verif verification of the truth table of OR logic gate.